Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome to After Quest. I'm Dan Stacy, and you are about to witness my nerdy family and I use silly voices and digital dice to tell a good story. As always, tell me how sound sounds, because we didn't have a chance to check the sound, so... Sound, sound, sounds. Sound, sound, sounds. And, and as far as silly voices, like, several of us are questionable. <laughs> yeah. This the is guys my voice fine. tonight, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lucia's just going through second puberty. <laughs> like, we have very limited time before Kristen has no voice. So. <laughs> we have to get this going. Yes. Hanging on by a string. Um, as always, check out Adam from the Uniplane Our Crossroads as we're doing our theme collaboration. Of course, our very own Chiro Chiba, Miss Alex, will be running a Dark Descent per game at the beginning of December. And then we're doing a special Horrors in the Sagas RPG with Dennis from OKSDM. OK and uh, so please join us for that. Uh, both those games are going to be amazing. Neolithic November is tomorrow. And we may have a special guest. Did I see yeah. that? Yeah, we'll see. Tune in to find out. 7 p.m. Eastern for that tomorrow night. Quality times. It's hard to come by. Sometimes. Yes, it is. And this will be quality time. It's going to be something. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. Austin will be in person with me in the oh, studio for it. That's news. To tell you. Yes. Oh. Thought it just easier this way. That's okay. That's exciting. <laughs> so, uh, yes, join us for that. Check out Adam on Rumble and YouTube. I think he's on BitChute as well. And uh, let's do this. I don't know. I think that's it. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How is everybody tonight? Good. Good. All right. So we're going to not dive back in because that's Bomb Squad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, we can do that. <laughs> it's cool. I like it. In all seriousness, uh, right now, just picture that you're sitting in the beautiful courtyard of the Kiseri's house. And you're just sitting there and enjoying some... You're looking at a bin filled with delicious food, and the smells are great. And you just kind of like look up because you think you hear a sound, and you realize you look past the water trough towards the door coming in, and you hear another sound. It's like a, a drip. Uh, and then you see a little blood splatter on the ground. And then coming to, stepping forward, is Cass. <laughs> Cass, you're staring at Tetsu. Tetsu's staring back at you. And you're barely holding on. I don't feel so good. Constitution saving throw, please. Aha! <laughs> Start it out. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Doop. There we go. Too many screens. Too many screens. It's okay. <laughs> it's all comes. good. Tetsu makes a step towards you, <clears throat> and he catches you as you stumble. So for the viewers, what you're seeing is Cass's face, right or er, right into yours. And so Tetsu lowers his horn a little bit, kind of like trying to prop you up, and brings you over to the food troughs and, and like leans you down and licks you. I don't think I can. He's just, he's not even thinking about it. I'm pretty sure he's pretty rough. What's that noise? <laughs> Do you see a giant dragonfly go by? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe you could let everybody know that I'm here. Tatsu kind of like sets you, leans you over, realizing you're wincing. He doesn't want your back up against the trough. And he walks over to where they have a garden growing. And he like, looks like he's digging in there. And he comes over and licks your back, leaving a big old wad of wet mud right in your wound. Ugh. Uh, and like packs it and oddly it's a bit soothing thank you and this big musty bowl just stands over you in like protection mode bawing very loudly I don't know if I'm supposed to but I think I might close my eyes for a minute okay Do you go to sleep? Uh, yeah, we'll yeah, I think so. Out. Yeah, I think you're I not bleeding. Out. That's who stopped your bleeding. Yes. <laughs> so no death saving throws. No. 
<laughs> At that moment, the three of you, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Run in, and for the viewers, you're seeing through Tetsu's eyes, you see the three of them run into the room, into the courtyard. And Tetsu's standing over, and he snorts ever so loudly, right? And looks at Lucius, looks at Moore, and like squares off a little bit towards Moore, but steps to the side off of Cass, but squares off with Moore and snorts at you and paws the ground like maybe he's going to charge you. Um, she's just going to kind of uh, just kind of like hold a hand out towards him and be like there, there, we're just here to help. What on earth happened again? Um, so we see Cass, yes? Yeah, he's on the ground with the bolt still sticking out of the back <clears throat> of him, but it's it's caked nicely with a wad of mud. <laughs> I don't know if explanations are right now the most important thing. We Lucius need to is pushing through. Caspian! And he's going to be grabbing him up. Get a doctor! He's just yelling out, yelling for servants, yelling for people to start acting. <laughs> and they're, they they now come running. Get a doctor! Oh yeah, yes sir! And runs off. He's gonna hold Cass. Is it dinner time? Hmm. That's who's pushing more back. Oh, he is? Oh yeah. She's gonna just kinda like, just sort of like lean her hand, because assuming he's just kinda got his head up against yes. her. Yep. She's gonna kinda like scratch it and just be like, look, I know I've been away for a little bit here, buddy, but I, I'd like to have a look at Cass if I can. I've seen some things like this before. He nudges your pouch. Have at it. If you want that, go for it. <laughs> whatever Did whatever she happens to have in there, he's welcome to eat. <laughs> uh, do you have beer in your pouch? No. <laughs> no. Maybe some pretzels and peanuts. Okay. <laughs> so, is there anything that we can do in the moment sure. to help stabilize is a drew I, i'm not very i can try but i'm not very good at this what are you asking for we need to get this out of him and stabilize him it is bobbed uh i would not recommend messing no. with it unless You've you're trained just got to snap off the ends pull and it clean pull through. It through yeah have something ready, <clears throat> pack it up, don't let it bleed too much. I think I can do it. Should we wait for a, an actual medic? One of the field medics at that moment in time, perfect timing, right? Comes around the corner, clear the area, clear the area! What do we got? <laughs> Out dancing, was he? Dance with the wrong lady? All uh, jokes aside. Who put mud on this? Well, I don't know, we found him like this. Well, that's one way to stop the bleeding on the field, that's for sure. He's like cleaning it away and takes some smelling salts and rubs it in your nose. Oh, let me know if you feel this. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't feel a thing. <sighs> Hello. Oh, you're all here. He's got like clinking going on as he's treating you. You're like laying uh, on your face. You should be safe now, Cass. Um... I'll be safe with a drink. Anyone have a drink? More uh, plasma. More, <laughs> and, more and a plot of flask. Drew is pulling out a flask at the same time. He takes, <laughs> ah, takes one and tucks it in. <laughs> uh, what happened? Oh, um, let's see. So, as we <sighs> came from Lord Hawkland's estate, um, we were deciding where to be going, and... That's when a carriage pulled up with some very shady figures who seemingly decided to shoot you with they a bond. They shot me. Yes. It was oh. horrible. Careful. Uh, <laughs> no, oh, no, don't be a baby. Uh, and if I remember correctly, the one who was about to try running us through said that he got the wrong target. 
Well, clearly. No offense, Cass. None taken. Oh. Uh, there we, we go. We have to lose as well. Why don't so. you tell us how you got from there to here? Just keep talking, Cass. Just um, tell us I the just... whole walk. And Moore's just going to kind of focus on you. Just yeah. like she doesn't really care what you're saying. Yeah. She just wants you to keep being responsive. And Drew's going to grab the part of the arrow that got the shaft of the arrow that got broken off and give it to Lucius. It's a crossbow bolt. So yeah. it's and a bolt. Yeah, no, I just wanted to be clear. Perfect. Because it had Lucius on it. Well, two Lucius, right? Uh, yeah. Heart or no heart? No heart. <laughs> <laughs> Very that important. Would be, that would be beautiful. <laughs> but this is why I knew. It was after you. Why? Why me? You are rather important. Exactly. I... That why. That's why nobody should ever do this to me. That's not how that works, Lucius. I, am. I suppose it is quite a mm. quite a message to try and give. Well, same. I am equally curious. What exactly you've done to earn this? Perhaps being such a prominent figure in the ball, someone took offense? Enough to try to kill a man? I don't know. It's very strange. Is he going to be alright? Huh. Yeah. He's being a big baby. <laughs> like to see you be stabbed with arrows, bound and stabbed. Oh, don't see any signs of poison. Oh, thank goodness. He puts a gag in your mouth. If you're gonna <laughs> barb it, where are, are you trying to kill somebody? Uh, I, I thought this was just to send a message. Oh, if you won't kill, you're gonna aim for the heart. He could have missed. Do you think it was a precision shot where he was hit? I'm a doctor. That's why I'm asking you. I'm not an investigator. I know when most people shoot to kill, they don't miss. I mean, that would be great when we're trying to kill something, but it doesn't happen like that all the time. What? Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Lately, most of my wounds have been patching up bites and scratches and burns. And it did quite well when you were patching up Tetsu as well. Yeah. What? Bites and scratches and burns. <laughs> I can still play, right? Yeah, you'll be fine. <sighs> this man, what did he look like? What did he look like? Because I don't remember. Nondescript. Like, it was very, <clears throat> you know, shrouded and um, hard to tell in the moment. He was one of those dark leather types. The ones that's always trying to blend in with the shadows. How about the carriage? Anything Definitely I mean, was rented from House Horsey. It was a House Horsey carriage, but that doesn't quite tell us anything. They're all House Horsey carriages these days. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Might, good? They might know somebody or something. I mean, I guess we could ask and see if we could get any sort of records on the matter. Sorry, Cass. It's my fault. No. No, it's not your fault at all. No. If I was there, I should have been there. I, if you were there, they would have continued the attack. Lucius, don't be ridiculous. You can't be everywhere all at once, and you have no idea where they planned to assassinate you. To be honest, it rather worked out, I think, as best as it could. The fact that they didn't finish off, I mean, you were squared right up against him. Turned about. Oh, I guess I should be lucky for that. Roll me an investigation roll, please. Kind of just thinking about the situation. I want you to just... All right. With advantage. Ooh. Because you're cool. Very nice. Awesome. So you think that maybe it was a, an attempt to wound Lucius and put him in the carriage and take off. Why would they pull up with the carriage like that? I, okay. So I would imagine that the carriage was there for easy transportation of a wounded body. So perhaps there were just planning not necessarily to assassinate you but to wound you and take you to a location that they could then handle you there 
Sounds like one way to send a message, doesn't it? Yes. Plus, it could also have been a ransom attempt of all things. I mean, hmm. whatever the, the case is, whether it be sending the message, holding you hostage for the duration, or even trying to extort for some money, there's quite a few reasons why to, to take a lord of the house. Yes, be many repercussions for that. I mean, I would think they would have to be sending a message, don't you think? If <clears throat> they still would have taken me anyways. If that it was is just for the money. You'd think, wouldn't you? I would honestly think taking you would send a message in and of itself as well. Ver they very much wanted Lucius. Well, they had instructions, so we need to find out who is giving those and why. Doctor casts heal on you. He's feeling quite better. Sore. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tatsu steps up for his thank you. <laughs> I pour <laughs> one of the things into his water with drop. <laughs> yeah, at least she's gonna pat him. <laughs> Couldn't have thank done you. it without you, buddy. Perhaps it was a third party who did the, the deed. One that was hired by another house. They saw that it wasn't Lucius. They got flustered and they didn't follow through. They're the, not the ones who are trying to make the message. It's more of just being the the deliverers. Well, that's what I would assume, actually. But all the speculation really isn't going to go anywhere unless we find some more information. I'll be looking into House Horsey and see if I could get any of the, the records. Thank you. I'm all right. Now, do we try to keep this under wraps or do we not care if it goes public or even if we want to go fully public with the assassination attempt? I want to, I want to call it out. I mean, obviously, Cass is hurt and it needs to be known why. Well, I could certainly put on a brave face, despite others' opinions. The doctor puts his finger in your wound. <laughs> <laughs> if I got this, I'm still smiling, though. <laughs> Marl will just reach over and sort of pat your face. Well, the good news is there's nothing wrong with your face. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Good shot, then. I guess a good shot. <laughs> we could make it look like it was pointless. Put on a brave face, quite literally, but still caught out. Yes. I mean, I want to give them the opportunity to step forward. And if they will not, then it's going to be worse off for them. Why do we announce this? At one of the routes? I mean, the only time that everybody's together is at the game, so... you rather announce <clears throat> Tetsu's run in there, I suppose. Are we due for another announcement each round? I hope we're not going to be working <laughs> up the list by the end of this. <sighs> Certainly brings some good attention. <sighs> good and bad. What would be the advantage of not letting them know? Or letting, you know, making it seem like we don't care. Well, it really more depends on uh, everyone else. They, of course, will have known, and we know, so... Between the two of us, there's no difference at all. Yeah, so maybe we can get some information. Maybe somebody knows something. If we call it out. I do feel we've been making quite a habit of that now, being... This may not be making us popular. <laughs> Apparently. Which might inspire more incidents like this. Well, I hope they pick me next time. <laughs> if, I mean, if we are going to shake the bee's nest, I'm going to get stung a little. Yes. I think the only reason to try to keep it quiet is if we keep it quiet, then they might actually try another attempt and maybe we could set an ambush or a trap. Uh, that's about the only real benefit to keeping it quiet, I think. Do you think they'd really try it again now that we're on our, our wits are about us? This is 
the second attempt, really, truly. As far as you know, the first one was also for you. Dan, can you turn the van off? You think so, for Tetsu? Possibly. We can't say for sure, but it does seem like a bit of a pattern, doesn't it? It does. If you think about that, that was, you know, even before some of the things at the ball, so... This could be uh, a bit more of a long-term plan. Now, the one thought about letting everyone know is, does it make you look as though your guard is down too much? Of course, you haven't had anyone quite killable yet, but two attacks, hmm. Depends, that doesn't exactly look very lovely now, does it? Yeah. Well, the first one was in secrecy. The second one was in broad daylight. Right in the street. And right in the street. We still had nothing to show for it. I still feel like it would be right to give them the opportunity to say something before we have to bring it before magistrate and all that. Oh, if we find out who this is, I don't think we should take it to a magistrate. I think we should take it to their house. Both. Right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have five days till <clears throat> the next battle for Tetsu. Obviously, you have some tasks ahead of you. Yes? No, I'm I'm just thinking. Sorry. Okay. Nope, I just want to make sure. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be... No, you rude. caught my thinking face. <laughs> I caught my thinking face. That's fun. So I want you guys to think about what those next five days would be like for you. I'd like it to be relatively quick so we can get to the next battle. But remember, you know nothing but that it's a rock monster for House Tarn. Mm -hmm. You have two active investigations, a possible assassination or kidnapping attempt. And whoever attacked Tetsu. I think I know what Chaos might be doing. You have a... Yeah, I'll hear it in a second. Okay. You... I'm trying to think of everything everyone's yeah. got going on here. <laughs> um, Lord, Lord Lucius is trying to seal a deal with Lord Hawkland. Yeah. The seed's been planted. Okay. Moore has a debt to collect with Gron. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Drew is part of the investigation, so it all comes back around to Cass. Are you chasing tail, or are you... A little of both, as Ooh. always. <laughs> I was actually... Double dipping. Because I'm assuming that Drew's, Drew's handling the investigation, at least at the lower end, and wanting to look for information maybe on the house horsey and the third party, so... Yeah, definitely more of a personal approach now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And since Lucius is going to have to talk to um, Hawkland because he's not going to talk to anybody else now. I think Cass, while he's healing, is curious if Lady Valer Valeria would like to join him on some dates where we interact with House Tarn and maybe we work together on getting a little information. Oh, very interesting. Okay. A little uh, social mingling Okay. And also to, you know, actually have real dates, but we're always going to be up to a little mischief in that sense. I Social mischief. So you sent out a couple of invites to a representative of House Tarn and Lady Valeria. Yeah, I'd speak with her first. Of course. Yeah. And, and I mean, she's, she's willing. <laughs> she's willing. Go have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> See if I can the... chat them up and get them to spill the beans a little. Something along there. the lines of uh, intriguing... This could be entertaining. Yeah. Show me how powerful you really are with your words. You know. <laughs> yes. Those kind of flirting. We could spend mm. all night flirting, but. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> no time, time, time. Time. Clyde Stales. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. Where's where's my horse hook? Oh, where, where are, are they? they? Uh, Did somebody throw out our coconut? No. 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 Oh. There they are. Yay. Oh, yay. No, we were just really I've good at putting a lovely away. bunch of coconuts. I'm not sorry. I didn't know that's where they go. I know that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I kind of get what 
cast is doing, so we will improv that here in a minute. What about Drew? So unless there's anything that Lord Lucius wanted Drew to do. The investigation. All right, then much, yeah. he's going to be going into the investigation. Uh, he's going to be seeing about getting records from House Horsey and uh, using the few connections he knows of House Horsey. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah! <laughs> oh! To see if maybe he could get more concealed records. <laughs> this is probably only shot cast just to get him to come. Like, this is an elaborate setup <laughs> for a date. I mean, I that thought Rex. did cross my mind. <laughs> that would be amazing. I don't know if Drew would bite that bait. Hmm. <laughs> but he might ride the horse. Oh, here we go. Giddy up. Okay. Easy, um, <clears throat> So Lucius is going to go see Lord Hawkland, but he is inviting more to come along. Oh. Moore um, is going to stick with Lucius to, like, keep an eye out, kind of, like, bodyguard him a little bit. Um, although, at the same time, she does want to uh, get in touch through Grom and kind of... Because she's just, like, a little bit pissed at how this is going. To kind of call in whatever favors she might have with different people. Kind of on the thing of, like, this is personal to me and I kind of have a grudge here, so... Who of you who owe me or want me to owe you want to help me out with this? Mm. Okay. You always give me such interesting curveballs. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, all right. So let's cover these five days. We're going to start with Cass. Who are we going to date first? Or like where? Tell me just a little detail of where you're meeting. Is this mm -hmm. just like a little cafe kind of thing? Uh, maybe, uh, t -t 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 I'm trying to decide if it should be at our place or I'm wondering if Lady Valeria is up for it. I think it should be in the Elven, kind of like a neutral-ish mm -hmm. territory that they're throwing a little get together. She's throwing a little party. There's a wonderful restaurant that <laughs> deals with bugs. They serve like larva and beetles. Nice. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> That's where you're going. <laughs> All right. All right. Roll me a diplomacy check because you are sitting there talking with a representative of Tarn and your sweet lady Valeria. Oh, so um, what is it that you plan on doing with all the money you're going to win with your creature from the game? She says to the representative. Persuasion? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Did I say diplomacy? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Too many systems. You want me to roll first? Yes. Yes, yeah. please. All right. Nice. Oh, good. All right. Yep. That's yep. <laughs> well, the Can first date. Rolling tonight. <laughs> she could see right through you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first, your your first date, your first investigation moment with her. I'm too distracted by her. That because that's what we've done with the low rolls all the time. So yeah. Far. I think I forget to actually do the job. And she, I. He's a little sore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She takes point, and I think it impresses you. You hear the sweetness in her voice as she's asking very pointed questions. <clears throat> Not much information comes out besides the fact that you still gain the... It's something to do with rock. It's a rocky-like creature, mm -hmm. or earth-based, or something along those lines. But that's about it. The, you find out that coming backwards is... Very impressed that your guys' beast is not just trapped in a cage and prodded to fight. Mm. Mm. Is, it's more of how Tarn asks these questions back of like, how do you do this with your beast? Like kind of mentality. I'll just talk up Lucius the whole time. Okay. Make her make him more of a threat. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Drew. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah, you're I'm welcome. <laughs> Drew. What are you doing? Where uh, are we going? So he would be trying to get a hold of House Halsey. Um, and... Which daughter? <laughs> Let's Winnie? See. Or what's the other one? Oh. Nabel? Yeah. Nabeline. Nabeline? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No. I just made that <laughs> Chad, help. I think we did say Nabel, but yeah, Rex called it out, right? No. It's Winnie and Nabel, right? Is that yes? 
Did I ever receive letters? Yes, I have them. Okay, I've, I don't know. Them. I have the. I just don't have them set up to play. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you have that? Ooh, intense. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Aw, chocolates and caramel are so good. <laughs> so you do receive a letter, and uh, so it is known now that you are seeking out which daughter, Winnie. Sorry, You're you are seeking out Winnie, and uh, it's like a threat. Yeah, <laughs> but also so like good. helpful. <laughs> it's very confusing in its tone. <laughs> well, because you probably would have asked permission, right, Drew? Because that's the of course, you know, of course. The, you know. Oh, wait. He, he's definitely following more steps of what Cass normally did. <laughs> I'm just going to read the letter for audio listeners. A letter oh, to yeah. Isidru from Lord JP of House Horsey. When, not if, you go on a date with Winnie, <laughs> she enjoys chocolates with caramel and baked oats with cinnamon as a snack. That's awesome. Thank you, great mustache. Thank you. For anybody who doesn't know, go check out Open Legend RPG. Yes. Yeah. Um, but diving back in, haha. <laughs> So he's definitely, is it Drew's definitely going to be getting the snacks? Okay. Getting them from a local baker that hopefully knows about such things. <laughs> <laughs> and you meet up with Winnie and it is a wonderful, overexcited, you guys are waiting for me to do some Winnie noise. I'm not doing yeah, it tonight. Yeah, a little bit. Not <laughs> doing Winnie it tonight. Noise. I see all the, woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Drew! Hi, <laughs> hi. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you took me on my offer. Your mane looks quite lovely today. She has a mane. <laughs> <laughs> she she flossed her hair. Oh. <laughs> Have you come for that ride on the Clyde stair with me? Wasn't it the other one who did one about? I, I don't see a problem with the other sister stepping in now. <laughs> <laughs> you are right, though. I thought so. It was the other sister, but they've been talking. <laughs> oh. You're going to cause drama in the house. Yeah. <laughs> I think Drew will go along with it. Okay. So you go off on a ride and go ahead and roll an investigation check. Okay. Or would it be a persuasion? Per I was getting there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know your stats. I don't have them up. So yeah, well, persuasion. It, what are you what trying are, to do? Are you trying to definitely butter up? up, up report. Oh, okay. butter We're up. buttering. Okay. Mm. All right, roll that persuasion. Oh, you. Butter Apparently, you're up. also being stalked by uh, her brother. The big brother. Oh no. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Better than me. <laughs> her charm is very exciting. But she's she will do her best to access the records. She would inform you that uh, the records are kept under lock and key that she doesn't always have access to, being the one of the younger sisters. I'm <laughs> quite certain she has <clears throat> quite a skill set, and she's just waiting to blossom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for another round. I cannot keep a straight face with that. I love it so much. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and they ride off into the night. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank All you right, we're going with that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, on the way, well, we set up another meeting with Lord Hawk. Oh, yeah. Which I'm assuming is fine. Mm -hmm. um, on the way there, though, uh, Lucius wants to talk with more real quick. Um, well, do you think your family is trying to hurt me? Well, if I'm honest, I can't say it would be entirely out of character for them, but don't see that they feel that much differently about you now than they always have. Well, they never bothered before. They're seeing you happy. Uh, doing the things they always wish you would do and it's not with them, for them. 
I just, I don't know. Gala just seems to be on good terms and how saucy seems to. I just don't see who else it could be. And I mean, unless it's Lord Hawkland, mm -hmm. am I going to go talk with him? But I don't, I don't think so. I think. You suppose I'm making this all worse by being here? No. We might be riling things up, but I was doing that anyway. Right. Well. My goodness. I don't know whether I'm more disappointed in my family. I'm slightly impressed. Does it seem like something they would do? How would they send a message to someone? Would they... I think Gwen would come up and just hit you very hard with something very heavy and stab um, you with a bolt and drag Bethany, you into a carriage I don't know that she'd send Bethany. other people to do it she'd want a whole shiny spectacle of putting you in your place and you know Bethany I suppose she'd really rather poison you with something that would take weeks with a knife maybe perhaps a tetsu I don't know I'm just it's just on my mind I just no, it's worth considering. You have to think about all these possibilities. I, I honestly can't say. You want me to march up and ask them? I have no, no problem doing that. No, I... I don't know. I am asking about around a bit. I don't know what will come of it. But, um... Maybe there's someone else out there just annoyed enough to, uh want to cause some problems for someone else and maybe we'll get some answers can't say for sure yeah. but you know i don't i don't wish any ill will towards them and these expansions that we're trying to do i know it just kind of is the case that they're not the way that they are is not the way that the world's going and they're going to fall behind. They're already behind, as shiny as they are. You know, you are the first to come, I suppose. You're also the first to go, eventually. My hope is that they don't have go. I mean, it is your family. I don't know, but whatever they do or don't will be their choice. They've picked this for themselves. Whatever it is that they've picked. You know, it's true for all of us, I suppose. What do you want to do about it? Do you feel strongly enough that it is them? I will talk to them. I want to give them the chance to come out themselves. I think it's them, but mm. if not, then maybe some more prying is needed. But I don't want to hurt them. but they need to pay for what they've done if they did do this. Of course. If not them, who do you suppose? That's exactly it. <laughs> I don't <laughs> have any other ideas besides Lord Hawkland, but... I suppose we should just ask him. I don't want to ask him right out right. I'm hoping that we can make a deal. <laughs> that hopefully will be advantageous for both of us and Yeah. Right. <clears throat> I just wanted to let you know what I was thinking. No. It's quite alright. I'm not bothered, of course. That's your family. 
How do you, I just. If your family is the one doing this, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel like I wish I could be more surprised. I'm not. Things aren't personal with them. Which I guess is why everything feels so personal. Do you still love them? I honestly... I don't... know. They are so... Far away? They're more like the ideas of family. Yeah. Well, they've... From what I've seen it, they've pushed you away. So, how can you have a relationship? I've done a bit of running too, but yes, they've certainly encouraged it. I'm sorry. I love my family. I'm very close to them, so it's hard for me to imagine life like that. Well, I don't know if this will make you feel better or not, but... Imagine getting bruised often enough, you stop feeling it when you get hit. Something like that. Yeah. It's not fair. Sorry. Not a lot's fair. It's not fair that Cass got shot. Well. Under some circumstances it might be fair. Just not these. I'm glad he's okay. Yeah. I think we're very nearly here. I suppose this is about the time when I keep my mouth shut so as not to uh, make things more complicated for you. Thank you for coming. Of course, like I said. I hope next time they try something, I'm there. Make it certainly more interesting. Stick around and... I'd like you there if something does happen. <laughs> Did you take Tatsu with you? I didn't plan on it. <laughs> Well, the, the viewers don't get to see that one. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, guys. He's just there, just like we're just walking, walking him through the streets. Yeah. <laughs> he just daily walks. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Okay. So, um, yeah, Lucius is going in and... You're just going to open the door and walk in like it's... No, room? no, he's just not. Really... Whatever formalities <laughs> need to happen. Then you will. <laughs> And this is my house. No, I'm just <laughs> ah, yes. Which one are you going after again? Uh, Parholm Hills. That's right. Um, so not necessarily looking to take it, but looking to work together because we have access to the Delimbeer River. Correct. That we can help to hunt the land and did you see that i changed the rose cord refuge for you it's now blue oh he did no i didn't move over there oh i gotta use this i use the mousey oh yay <laughs> that's so exciting um that's the little things that are fun so <laughs> roll me a persuasion i think i actually have some of that i do but i do gotta say something as you walk in yeah you know you're brought in by the servants you're expected, so, you know, they were ready for you. It smells delicious in here. The food is well prepared. And War Lord Hawkland's in the, the dining area, standing by his chair, and he's got his arm up, and you walk in, and then more walks in behind you. Goes, now that's the Lord that I know has some balls. <laughs> Slurs just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the whole reason we start a little fight in the bringer here, I tell you. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to make deals with you. You're going to make a difference around here. Thank you. 
Lady Morgana, Lord but, Hockland, all the pleasantries. <laughs> <laughs> he goes back to serious. Um, thank my, you. My lady, as fine as ever. Did you dress up for this? In my normal fighting leathers. <laughs> <laughs> no more dresses for you, I see. Limited time only. Just appreciate what you got. <laughs> Uh, I may have gained an ally in it. I appreciate you making the time, a second time, <laughs> to meet. And do I hear that it was a talk on the way out last time? Yes. Your uh, Cass, is it? Caspian? Yes. The blood was hard to clean off them stones. Yes. Did sh- your men happen to see anything? Dark leathered figures that seem to disappear with the crowd. I, I think they were targeting me. Hmm. Well, you all want to talk around here. Quite a stink has been making making around here. Well, you're even getting blamed for the tree. It ripped the sidewalks right up. No, that one was all me. Oh, I know. Make sure anyone who brings it up knows that, please. But, I'm not allowed to have hobbies now. Why would I? Why would I bring out a tree to? What? Never mind. It is not she. You, you're betrothed. Uh, no. What? Oh, well, that's the rumors going around. Oh, then how she is. Strutting her stuff out and and letting out beasts. She can do as she wants. I didn't. I should have. <laughs> Is that the typical behavior upon becoming engaged? I had no idea. I might oh. have done it sooner if Bachelor that was the expected party. tradition. <laughs> he just kicks back a drink. All jokes aside. So. Yeah. And then we're gonna just get. Yeah, blah, 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 we don't blah, 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 blah. We don't do all that. <laughs> I just really want to make a big stink about you. You literally okay. showing up with the drama. Does that give me an advantage? Is that <laughs> Moore's title now? Yeah. More the yeah. drama. More <laughs> the drama. <laughs> the drama. All right, all right. Honestly, okay. she's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You are going to gain access to hunt as long as you help with shipping goods yeah mm -hmm. that's what you're looking for and they get a cut all oh that yeah kind of yeah stuff, it's so. beautiful yeah it's still Healthy their land yeah we're just trying to gain more animals oh you know i'm sure that our deal here is going to make some people angry yes they're very nice lands <laughs> <laughs> indeed you know who's been hunting them for a long time no. Your family. Have they now? Hmm. Anything they particularly favor? Creature-wise? Oh, I, I meant hunting for the lands themselves. Mm. Uh, not on the property. No, I would not let them. Oh, well. Stingy. <laughs> it is an honor to work with you. Awesome. All right, for your five days, I think some some of your five days, we'll go back around. I think all of you are going to spend time with Tetsu and helping yeah. him prepare for the combat. But we'll get to that in a minute. Just something to think about for you three. Mm -hmm. What are we doing now? I just remember Curveball. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> always, always. Um, so she has... Grom owes her, right? Oh, yeah. And there may or may not be some other people out there who kind of her in the like the low town of yeah, like absolutely. you know favors back and forth so she wants to kind of in her circles of rapport mm -hmm. um put out like kind of cash in favors for information yep. about what's going on here and also kind of put out for like and anyone who wants her to owe them a favor you know maybe offer stuff to kind of like kind of this like Low town, let's let's band together. Moore's got a grudge. Anyone who wants in on like, you know, clearing a debt or getting some credit, like she's looking for 
information about what's going on with specifically stuff that ties up to the noble end of things. So not looking to implicate or care who may be involved down on this level, but who Hired is them. hiring them. Yeah, I got you. Persuasion, please. Okay. Nice. This, Same thing, best friend. This challenge event has been a struggle. <laughs> I love it. We're single digits because we're number one. <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh, is this a this is a roll low system? Yeah. That's what five E is. It's, a, it's, a, oh, it's roll under? You didn't know that? I <laughs> Oh, I should have realized that. So reverse that, flip that, stick that. Alright. Doing great. <laughs> Grom is busy. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get a contract with Isidru. But and, and he will happily pay you. Mm -hmm. As far as the rest of the low town, it's like all of them have been paid to shut up. And a good chunk of money. Mm -hmm. You notice in some of the normal people you see in rags, all of a sudden they got a nice jacket. Mm -hmm. I'll give you that. Okay. But you don't get a whole lot. A couple people are interested, so maybe they'll come back around. All right. At some point. Okay. All right. Well, that's all you guys get. What a lovely five days. <laughs> so productive. So. I, mean, I had a lovely time. Absolutely. Yeah. Successful. You're building your relationship. <laughs> Ca cast fails upwards. Yes. Yes, we know. Always. You're eating an elf slap. <laughs> Ain't nothing better. All right. What are you guys all doing to help Tetsu prepare for this unknown creature who's about to fight? Can we find out more about nope. the creature? I try. Shippy sail. <laughs> Shippy sail. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have a really stupid, unhelpful thing. <laughs> I, I want to hear it. More will just spend free time, not really with any particular actual training in mind, but she will spend time drinking with Tetsu. Mm -hmm. And boxing with tetsu where she will like punch him in the face like not super hard but he's got this big old cow skull yeah, yeah. and just kind of like you probably could punch spar him. with him yeah so like thickening his skull essentially yeah and just she'll just kind of like bob around him and just kind of like punch at him and just try to like it's kind of it's more of a game to her than anything i love it um but just kind of like try to weave around and you know you see him continuously use the battle maneuvers that he used what are they called? The maneuvers. Maneuvers, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That he was taught mm -hmm. in this battle. But go ahead and give me a uh, unarmed strike roll. All right. Teach him water magic. <laughs> uh, go to. How much is that going to cost? You guys have to. How much is it going to cost for you guys to bring in a water mage? Inventory? I don't know. We don't really have magic people. Unarmed strike. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> just an, it just a magic a pack. A we got red blast. Red yeah, blast. that's all we need. <laughs> That's what he tells us. <laughs> Ooh. I'm glad that rolled as well. Yeah, you definitely, you're getting him for sure. Mm -hmm. But it's teaching him where his openings are, where he's missing the moments. You know, because um, cow anatomy. They can't see very well here. Right. But you're giving him that understanding of that weak point. Yeah. So oh. she'll just kind of like like jab at his nose, try to reach around, try to like, you know, get at his like, his ribs and stuff. Nothing that's going to give him anything more than like a little bruise that he'll shake off. But yeah, yeah. But yeah. And then, you know, do a couple rounds of that. Give him some whiskey. Oh, you yeah. know, take a sip herself. That type of thing. Yeah, it goes well. And he likes the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so I think for Isidru, he's probably going to um, get measurements of um, Tetsu and try to start getting him like the little pads of armor and such basically a more preparatory step for when we're going to get the runes and such um for the phase tiger yeah but in its current state maybe could still be used as like a you know little bit of armor and no i have no idea what skill that would be yeah um, <laughs> shopping almost, yeah it would almost be <laughs> some kind of like that's what i was saying because it could be kind of like a persuasion role i mean you're gonna you're asking for like custom Leather work. That is true. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, or um, survival. 
I have no idea. I doubt it. I wouldn't fit that. I mean, eh. I'm not really doing it myself. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Okay. So. Oh yeah, if he was doing himself, you're right. That would have. Okay, that's what I was thinking. He's he's. (laughs) Is it true? No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) He he can only get some way to do it. People for that. So persuasion, unless you want to intimidate the shopkeeper. Nah, let's go persuasion. Okay. Now, how this is going to work, the foul forward on this is going to be if you don't roll well now. Which is accurate. Yeah. Um, you, they are being made still, but okay. it's just, they won't be done in time for this combat. Okay. You don't have the Amazon Prime horsey shipping? <laughs> yeah. It's not. No, it's House Horsey Prime. <laughs> House Horsey Prime. It's Horsey Prime. <laughs> um, Lucius is, so, with the branding that he has does he does Lucius know that he, if he what abilities that that could unlock for him or not hmm. that's an interesting question because it's like a storm right and Rex gave me the idea of water uh, <laughs> so that I'm like what can can he access yes water yep Okay. But you got to unlock Bending. that potential. Yes. So can I an animal handle him to accessing that potential or not? Or how does that work? Well, how can I help him access that? <laughs> yeah. Could she like teach him like TM32 or something? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it sounds like Arcana. Is it Arcana? It would be an Arcana role in my opinion. But okay. yeah. the fact that it's an innate potential that you're unlocking out of the being inside of him you're not like activating or covering him in any kind of runes i will accept animal handling will you oh yeah okay <laughs> the doubt right i said it i mean no but i'm like are you being easy on me no <laughs> she always does that <laughs> Lawful good, no, man. no but she gave that like it was a good reason it's internal yeah. potential not if you were like oh i want to use magic to unlock his potential i'd say arcana but you were you no. Worded, it's you worded opinion. it well. It's it's because it's you know through wisdom. It. It's his connection with Tetsu. I love it. That's what. It no, is. that's I love it. Okay, I absolutely love it. You don't need to argue it. All right, pretty good. Oh, pretty nice. good. Thank you, ladies. We're struggling over here. <laughs> you made your brother cry with happiness because he made a Pokemon <laughs> joke. Just so you know. <laughs> I mean, I definitely enjoyed it. <clears throat> there, well, pardon. I almost digressed. All right. 17 does really well and it's towards the end and it's actually you've been like talking him through the situation talking about water talking about you 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 know like tetsu i know i'm looking yeah. for you a little bit but i had an idea though oh because i take it away well, I, was I was thinking he doesn't know water so yeah. i think he's gonna actually bring him to the ocean water and buffalo. give him an idea <laughs> Everybody has one. <laughs> Yours is fast. Mine is slow. <laughs> Where did we get them? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, everybody's got one. Though. Well, um, what a spectacle that would be. So he's going to bring him down to the ocean. Well, and, unchained. And, yeah. Unroped. Yeah. And just gonna walk Have a day on the a beach. freaking rune branded auroch through Waterdeep to the beach. That's my idea. I yeah. freaking love it. <laughs> I love it. That's so good. It is. Cash it's so good. Come. I mean, you guys could all be there watching. I think you should beach play day! music. Oh, it's our beach day. Yes, yes. Wait, this is the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus. Bonus. <laughs> no, I love that. I love that. Um, and if you're okay, can we couple up? With, maybe that's the day more also trains with them in the water. Show them the water resistance. Perfect. Yeah. Right? Is that okay more? Yeah. I don't want to put you there, but awesome. And so as you're doing this maneuver... And you're showing what water. At first, he's a little like leery. You know, water has big things that eat him in it. But with your encouraging and, and coaxing to go into the water, he does. And he enters into the water. And then he he's just stands there. like, And the waves are just like slapping up against his belly. And he's in that just perfect depth. And he almost seems like he's being soothed by water. Because it can be very soothing. And then... He goes to spar with Morgana. And as they're doing their thing, he actually takes a moment and splashes at Morgana. But the splash 
you see the runes like spark up, but not in an electricity way. Just like they, they light up is what I mean. They not spark, and the water blasts more back, and like the anime style where it creates like the waves. Like it, it's a hard mm-hmm. blast back, and it's. Mm-hmm. Pfft, Well done. You've unlocked water potential. <laughs> so Jake cool. Said, what have I done? I was so excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What does his swimsuit look like? No, i <laughs> <laughs> He don't need no swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, he like just plays in the water. And it's very entertaining. And Moral totally play with him. So like, oh, I love it. I'd lock wrestle him. And like he's obviously huge. Yeah. She's big. Oh, and powerful, but- too. But he's huge, so she just will be like wrapped around, you know, his head, kind of like trying to push his nose in the water, and then he'll like throw her over and like probably like all the way over, but she'll kind of like land on her feet, and it's like very much just like play roughhousing. Yeah, the water's a bit painful every time he throws it at you. He doesn't quite know his power there, but mm-hmm. <laughs> he's just gonna have his tea because it's afternoon time, so he's on the beach with his tea. I love that. <laughs> Cass, what are you doing for her? I'm going to take the blame for why the armor's late. Because Drew got some armor, but it just... You can't... It, it can't look like that. We have to... It has to look good, too. <laughs> you got the black leather that burnt, work, just blends into the crowd. <laughs> They've got to see it. It's got to stand out. So... And then also I'm going to work on taking care of his fur and now we both have scars. So we're working on, if we're going to have it, we're going to make it look good. So I want to work on making him look gorgeous and frightening. You look for a performance role or crafting? Um, I performance, because I don't think crafting exists. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with that one. <laughs> I'll take uh, the 11. But yeah, I think he's spending a lot of time humming and just, yeah, wants to make him look awesome. Maybe even you could in- incorporate a couple of the, uh, like, shells on the beach, too. Oh, that's sure. Yeah. You don't have to. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yeah. really struggling. <laughs> Uh, you shot me. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> I, love I get blamed for this. Yep. I get blamed I for the bad you. dice. That is every single table I sit at. Turn off your dice axe, Jacob. <laughs> I don't have dice axe. <laughs> Maybe you should. <laughs> the I took an arrow to the knee. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would have been He's... an adventurer. <laughs> but you took a bolt to the shoulder. <laughs> a bolt to the shoulder. <laughs> No, he would have been a costume designer, but he took a bolt to the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You're doing it. But with all the other training and stuff, and especially in the beach scene, some of your work gets ruined. And the leather seems to be having a hard time taking the dyes. But it needs more time. Mm. <clears throat> but it has to be perfect. Process Exactly. So every time you've done it, and you've, you've probably had some hands help you, it just hasn't quite turned out right for you. Mm. If you want it done right. Maybe one of the stray tidal waves just psh, at one point. <laughs> <laughs> More flipping over and something. Psh, <laughs> yes, that's perfect. <laughs> All right. I love it. Before this next battle with Tetsu and the creature you don't know of, what? Who's doing the announcement? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds Are good. you riding Tetsu in? I wasn't picturing that. Oh, but... okay. I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. just kind of curious. Okay. I figured that this was like he talked to the head of games beforehand and said, I'd like to make some kind of announcement. Who would you? How's he say it? Always makes the most. Wild announcements. <laughs> that would be the response. <laughs> I don't <know. laughs> you know, Yeah, that was my thought would be. It would be from from their seats, essentially, before the match started. You don't want to ride that too in? It's not his thing, no. Okay. That's a cast. Thing. I would do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isidru yeah. did that. <laughs> Cass can ride him in. If- <laughs> nah, not, not yet. He's not perfect yet. 
Oh, he's got to build his stage. Yeah. <laughs> Can't ride on that. <laughs> Are you going to... So you're not going to walk him in? You're just going to let him walk in? I think it's in like then... you walk him in and then you go up to your seats and that's when everything starts. So I imagine that I've already walked him in. But then who's announcing Tetsu? Oh, probably me. You're announcing, announcing Tetsu. Tetsu. My thing's separate, I guess, uh, than okay. announcing I, Tetsu. I wasn't sure if you wanted to combine them. Because you had, you would have the entire crowds. At the end, yeah, sure. Do you feel like you're up for an announcement? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Wait, you want me to turn it over to you at the end? Yeah, I think so. I yeah. No pressures. No, you guys do your thing. I'm just trying to understand exactly what the picture I want to paint and what. Don't worry, Jacob. We're putting the pressure all on ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to imagine like what you do because you. It's not necessarily part of his announcement, but it is an announcement. <laughs> like they're to they're separate. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, you could always just just because you're supposed to announce him doesn't mean you couldn't just hijack the platform, say whatever you want. I could do that actually. Cast maybe steps out and does something like. And now a message from my sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking what? <clears throat> Good people of Waterdeep, you are used to me coming here and dazzling you with words, spectacle, true words, great things. But today, <clears throat> Lord Lucius of Haskiseri will speak. Tetsu needs no introduction this day, but my lord would speak to you all. Thank you, Caspian. As many of you have heard by now, Caspian Kisari has been shot by a crossbow in a case of mistaken identity. His brother Isidru Kisari, who was there with Caspian at the time, confronted the archer, who stated that the bolt was meant <laughs> For another target. Wrong button. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, you no it's fine. With me. <laughs> the bolt was meant for another target. That target is myself, Lord Lucius Kisari the Third. Whoever planned this attempt will be held to justice. Step forward to face the magistrate under the first plaint of the code legal. If not, you will be smoked out of your den and given over to the authorities. You will see what happens when you come into the crosshairs of an auroch. He lets out a massive snort. And the water droplets like pierce the sand before him in the pit. Well done. The crowd is silent with... I'm not going to make you roll. It was really well prepared. Uh, the crowd is silent. As if they're pondering what the threat just was. Now you just walked an old rock through the middle of Waterdeep to a beach. So the, the, the size and the power of this creature is no, well known but also the control that you have over it. On top of it, destroyed a young griffin. It's quite intimidating to most, even magical fantasy world folk. Does Cass say anything else before? I don't think so. Awesome. Oh, nailed it. I do think there was a sun booing in the crowd when Lucius said, I got shot. And I'm like, it's okay. There was, yeah. there, there was. I didn't want to interrupt. I, interrupt I didn't want to way. either. Because I, I was going to say booing and then yeah. my fat finger bumped the yeah. Swooning in the stands. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Not Caspian! <laughs> in Caspian's mind, it was a lot of that. Lady Valeria was like crying. <laughs> no, even in my even Bethany in my shed a single tear. Yeah, so she's still stoic, even in my imagination. No, I love it. I love it. 
The other house actually turns down an announcement after such a beautiful introduction. They don't feel like that would be worth stealing that. Mm. Out of respect for her message, too. Nice. That's drink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <It's cool. laughs> he almost made it to the end, guys. <laughs> I did so well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to share an image. All righty. Out from the elevator comes a, a smaller cage, not tiny, medium sized one would say. And as the door opens, yeah. Oh, wow, rumbling <laughs> happens. A gargoyle Ooh. steps forth, just stretches, and just looks at Tetsu with a menace in his eyes. Oh, so that's what they meant. I'll try to pay attention more next time. May the battle begin. That's awesome. And this is from Battles of Beast Theory? This one's not. No, this, this, one's is, not. this is a normal uh, D&D monster. Normal. <laughs> I had been picturing it as an onyx. That's okay. I'm fine with it. <laughs> Tetsu. Unsure how to handle this beast. Lord Lucius can see the smidgen of confusion as he steps and tries... Oh, that's loud. Steps and tries to... (laughs) It's tense! (laughs) (laughs) It's so good. And he actually does. He fires off one of his lightning bolts because that's what he knows. Mm -hmm. And it strikes the beast as if nothing even bothers it. The gargoyle swoops forth with his claws and grabs hold of Tetsu's horn and begins to twist and throws Tetsu to the ground. Nice. Tetsu (laughs) escapes the grasp and he steps off to the side. What's going on in the box seats? Is there any commands being given? Is there anything being said? Is it tense? Is Lady Valeria with you? Where are you, Morgana? I hope so. Um, I'm probably up in the box. Um, Lucius invited Lord Hawkland to be in the box with us. Oh, and he's there. He's very honored, actually. Sweet. That was great. He's tense, though. Gripping his chair. I hope Lady Valeria's there. She, she, oh, she joined you, yeah. I'll probably be... I don't like playing with her hand and holding it like, and I'm probably start because he hums when he's nervous, so he's starting to hum something. Love it. Magical, magical. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Magic. <laughs> magic. Magic without knowing. <laughs> magic. I gotta look at your spells. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> pulling up right now. Yeah, we can do that actual spell. <laughs> No, I love it. Enhance ability, actually. Would be pretty it's sweet. funny. I was thinking Vicious Mockery. Vicious Mockery. I was Ooh, I was thinking that... Yeah, no, I'll, I'll take it from here. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the gargoyle seems very fast, as if being enhanced by some magical power or something, because the gargoyles are not normally fast. This one seems to be darting and flitting around the field. Catches Tetsu in the side, but right as he's about to wrench another claw in... Same wounded side. Mm. You believe that, Gargoyle? <laughs> okay. Goes to put one in, and all of a sudden he like, grabs at his head as if something is like, bothering his mind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but Tetsu takes advantage of the situation and steps to the right, away from the claws, coring back away, and he, he, he puffs up his chest and snorts out and this wet snot just shoots and smacks the gargoyle, actually shattering a chunk of rock right off of him. Mm. I'm glad we taught him water techniques. Water snot. Water's good against stone. Electric would have been ineffective. <laughs> I'm glad he has two elements now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's Rex's fault. He said use water gun. I love it. Yeah, we're just cranking the decks and it's just spitting this out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then Tetsu uses Leer. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and the gargoyle can't quite understand what's going on. He looks like maybe a little off guard. And Tetsu takes the moment and goes to charge in. 
and using his hardened skull, thank you, Morgana, <laughs> smacks into the gargoyle. The gargoyle slides back in the sand pit. And he stands off and, like, sh shakes the dust. But Tatsu knows that he can't let a foe take a moment. He's charging right in behind him. The gargoyle jumps just in time. Tatsu smacks into the wall. And the gargoyle comes down on the back of him and starts choking on him. Uh. What's going on in the box? So I think Morgana's probably like kind of standing at the, the side of the box, but like up towards the front edge. Um, there's not really anything she can do, but yeah. she's definitely sort of like, she's thinking as she's watching this down, like and kind of, this is not that different from how she was like playing with Tatsu of like grabbing him, choking him, headlocking yep. him, you know, she's kind of like, kind of like very subtly emoting like a, what to do with this like yeah. you know like what she kind of like slightly mimicking what she was doing and being like i know you got this like you you know how to handle it when when you're in this situation love it what about the rest of you guys what's it like drew you're awfully quiet i think drew would be actually pretty quiet he's looking about him but um would definitely pay attention to the match i think for him he he does kind of similar before like a projecting himself in the whole Tetsu state, but um, he's taking a different approach in it. Um, where before he was all about trying to do it through like the mind, trying to figure out how to like overcome his opponent. Right now, especially after his last bouts of going on the date, so to say, and such like that, he felt a little bit more calm and such, uh, just because of this is like peacekeeping. That's the thing he really likes. And it's like, he's thinking about it and Looking at the situation, all the stress and everything like that, he's he's thinking about more of how to be more calm, and it's like all this is berating him, and he's trying to find more of an inner peace in there. Love it, Tetsu. We just says that Go a ahead. little bit too. What? Yeah. Um. So going off of the same kind of idea, it's um, Lucius is on the beach and he's just listening to the waves come in. And, and rolling in and same thing where he's like, he's just, it's been very stressful, but just to have a moment of thinking back to that time of just peace and hearing the waves. Love it. I mean, I don't know how much I can do, but it's the same thing really. Okay. <laughs> Come on, you not close your own sheet. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, to me, I feel like it's enhanced ability. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. And, I just um, thought it'd be kind of fun, like, the yeah. Vicious Mockery was just a fun. Oh, absolutely. No, that's great. Because now it's... And, uh, yeah, looking for... Since he's being choked out, I think Cat's Grace to be able to slip through. Roll me a d20. Ooh. Coming there are some magical barriers that are put up that, you know, a higher level spell may have to overcome. Right, right. And he doesn't... Just yeah, a straight d20. Yeah. he's doing it. Of course. Of course. A strange thing in the right in front of your guys' box. <clears throat> a yellow sparking, just like almost like fireworks, right in front of your guys' face for just for a second. And it mm. shimmers away. As we slide down into Tetsu, the gargoyle is riding his back. And Tetsu's bucking and bucking. The, gar the gargoyle does not get a successful eight second ride as Tetsu successfully does a maneuver with. Uh, quick stop and a dump, and the gargoyle flops on his back, head facing Tetsu. Nice. Tetsu. Boom, and snot bubble smacks him right in that same spot, <laughs> popping the gargoyle's left arm right off. <laughs> Stone shatters. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> the gargoyle staggers up, and they're face to face, and the gargoyle goes to lock, but only having one hand on that horn. Tetsu's able to just throw. It was actually the other hand, but same idea. <laughs> was able to throw the gargoyle again. Tetsu turns. He seems to just be like building some kind of power. Another snot bubble comes out, but this time as it strikes the gargoyle right in the face, it seems just to turn to ice. And the gargoyle just smashes to the ground. And Tetsu runs over and just begins stomping it. 
<laughs> Atta boy. Uh, yes, double tap. <laughs> the crowd absolutely goes wild. Every song is so different. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, you're it's good. All good. <laughs> And the celebrations, instantly the crowd goes wild as Tetsu's <clears throat> sitting there just just destroying every piece of stone he can. <laughs> I'm dancing. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Lucius was standing up and applauding for sure. Oh god, I was just going to take a, a swig and then just go to the back of the box and be cool now. <laughs> nice. And... I think Drew's basically doing the same thing as before. Not really reacting as much, just more of keeping it calm, cool, and just making sure no one's going to attack Lucius. Lord Hawkland steps forward and... Well done! Oh, that's quite the beast you have there. He is. He's a wonderful beast. <laughs> and then he steps out. Well done, guys. Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'll scare me. <laughs> Tetsu has won round two. Barely. Thanks, buddy. We're going to have our gym badge soon. Yes! <laughs> Did we get a rock one? <laughs> He's most definitely injured. Like, he yeah. took a lot of beating. Uh, at the end of the combat that I rolled, it was pretty low on HP. But I had to edit some things because I knew you guys were going to affected a little bit so mm. it was close i thought for a second there i was gonna have to pull my gm card <laughs> <laughs> well if lucius doesn't go down castle definitely i think the doctor is used to cash grab cast grabbing him and pulling him along yeah because he always goes down to... oh big baby hold mm. up <laughs> let's help the other big baby come on lucius goes down too think, he always I, goes down I right figured. after <laughs> As you enter the pit, Tetsu turns to you, towards Lucius, and starts heading towards him. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't cast what I'd be surprised about that. Yeah. And the whole demeanor went from, like, you could feel the hot anger coming from him, like, from battle. But as he steps towards Lucius, it's almost as if he bows towards Lucius. Well, he'd put his head to his head kind of thing. Love it. Yeah. He just, well done. A nice snort comes out. Not, not a bubble one. <laughs> no, no, a bubble one that pops. Okay. <laughs> but not like a sicky green one. That's up to you. No, it's not. He's not sick. <laughs> The role play is all yours, guys. I rolled a, save, a wisdom saving throw for myself. So I think uh, Cass kissed Lady Valeria in celebration. Mm. <laughs> I was rolling really bad tonight, guys. I'm sorry. I love that, like, in the moment you're swept up. Yeah. Right. And the first thing you do, she's distracted you all week yeah. and impressed you with the way she's handled uh -huh. her pointed. Qu uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, carry on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So she, I, <clears throat> yeah, and she accepts it, but then you run off with the doctor pretty quickly. Yeah, it's just a quick, yeah, yeah. And uh, Morgana, what you see is like Lady Valeria actually goes to like step towards him, like gonna follow him, and mm -hmm. then like she stops herself and recomposes. Only you see that though, okay? Okay, nice, Drew. Roll a perception check, please. All right, <laughs> and then tell me what you're you gonna do. Got it. Would would Lucius have shared any information about? Uh, uh, okay, go. cool, cool. <laughs> but, um, Let me roleplay. Yeah, <laughs> would, would Lucius have shared any information about his suspicions about House Navarre or no? With like, hmm. Um, I mean, I think so because it just seems like to him. Who else would it be? Okay, so in addition to looking out, he will also try to see like the disposition of House Navarre and what they're taking of this whole thing. With your perception, Jack, 
as you look upon House Navar. You don't recognize some of the figures that are standing with them. But the demeanors all look a normal respectful. But you do clent you do catch a glint in Lady Bethany's eye as she like turns. You catch a facial feature that she, it's like planning. And she turns and walks off out of the box. Okay. So I'll continue to see the doubt. Does anybody have anything else for me tonight? Or are we all going to go lick our wounds? I'm feeling much better. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well done, then. You guys rocked tonight. Yeah. We did That's it. That's who won. Yeah. We did it. He learned snot splash or something. <laughs> they called it snot bubble. I think I like snot that. Snot bubble. Yeah. Tetsu like uses that. snot bubble. It's super effective. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Rex. Thank you, chat. Uh, uh, you guys rock. That was fun. I've had a lot of fun with Tetsu. <laughs> Good. And you guys are making them even more enhanced. I had to think about how to add some of that in. <laughs> so Awesome. Well, and thank you, chat, again. Thank you, House Horsey. Keeping it spicy. Thank you, J. Love you, my brother. Mwah! <laughs> For the super chat. Um, <clears throat> oops, sorry. Rumble rant. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, thank you. I didn't know why you shook your head. <laughs> rumble rant. Because we're on rumble. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, just a reminder that Dark December, Alex will be running a game with the supporters at the beginning of the month, December 14th. And then December 28th, we're doing a special game in Saga's RPG uh, as that Kickstarter will be launching in January, I believe, if I remember correctly. So right before it launches. Uh, so do give Saga's RPG a follow on Kickstarter as well. They're unlocking some stuff by the follows. So they unlock the horror already. So that's why we decided to do this. I'm really looking forward to that. Adam from the end of Planar Crossroads as well. And uh, we'll be doing Neolithic November tomorrow night here on Rumble. Join us. Um, there's going to be some special stuff in the Sagas game with Rumble Rant specifically, actually. There'll be some ways you can actually directly influence the mechanics of the game. Uh, Dennis and I and Jacob are talking about it. So uh, do be there for that. And that's something we want to start incorporating into more AfterQuest shows and stuff like that, too. So just want to give a heads up on that. If you're interested in sagas, we did just do a, a little druid's table on it. Yes. Go check it out. The links are there, too. I believe the PDF is available on Drive-Thru RPG. Yep. Beta version of sagas is available for free on Drive-Thru RPG. So check that out. And uh, we'll shout it again. OpenLegendRPG.com is also for free. Always. Always there. Check that out. Thank you. Great, Great mustache. mustache. is fantastic. And if you get into the Discord over there, Jacob runs some games over there. He does Go for new out. players for new players right? specifically yeah so awesome hop very in on easy, over there. very fun system mm -hmm. and i think then there's nothing further to say then this has been another fantastical episode of after quest and avenue studios production do give us a like subscribe hit the notification bell to follow the adventure you can further support us and become a part of the ever-growing forest known as avenue studios by joining our locals or patreon community doing so not only helps us continue to create high quality content, but you'll also gain access to bonus content as well as our private discord where we are currently doing an adventure by vote. And it's been really awesome. And there will be video content coming out based on that story that our supporters are creating by voting. So keep an eye out for that and join us for that too. It's been a lot of fun. And there's some new stuff coming out in March. I'm pumped. Stay tuned for announcements. He's getting really good at that. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> don't forget to check the links in the description below for sound music and ambience that we use as well as D&D Beyond and Foundry Virtual Tabletop and thank you so very much for joining the adventure we will see you next time <laughs> we need a producer <laughs> bye, bye. bye. bye <laughs>